Hi, welcome to our Avid Media Composer series. In this video, we'll guide you through downloading, installing, and setting up Avid Media Composer, so you're ready to start editing like a pro. Let's get started. Before we start, make sure your computer meets Avid system requirements. You'll need a supported operating system, Windows 10 11 or Mac OS, latest versions, at least 16 GB of RAM for basic use, though 32 GB is recommended for heavier projects. A dedicated graphics card for smoother performance. At least 256 GB of storage, but go for SSDs if possible. To download Avid Media Composer, head to avid.com. Create an Avid account by clicking Login from here. Click I am new, create an account. This window will pop up, fill the necessary informations. To see the purchase plans, head over to Video and Media, then click Media Composer. If you scroll down, you will see three different versions. Media Composer first, which is the free version, the standard, and the ultimate version. You can choose from one of these three payment plans. Monthly, Annual Paid Monthly, and Annual. And also if you are a student or a team you can decide it from here. After deciding your version and payment plan, Continue by clicking here. Add your credit card information to be able to download. Once the installer is downloaded, open the installer file and follow the on-screen instructions. I cannot show you, because we already downloaded it to our computer. Select your installation location. The installer will guide you through setting up any additional components, like the Avid Link app, which manages your licenses and updates. Once installation is complete, Restart your computer to ensure everything runs smoothly. Next, activate your Avid license. Open Avid link and log in with your account credentials. Navigate to the products tab, you will see all of your products. Click this drop down menu, and choose license. You can activate or deactivate your Media Composer license from here. When you first open Avid Media Composer, you'll be prompted to select one of these activation options. We use Avid Link, so choose the Electronic Activation option. As soon as you select your activation option, Avid will open. You will first see this starting window, where we are going to create our first project. Click New Project from here. This settings will open. From here you can give your project a name, choose different types of resolutions and frame rates. And lastly, choose the location where your projects and bins will be located. To ensure everything is working correctly, Import a test video clip into Media Composer. Then create a timeline. Drag and drop the clip. Check if the playback is smooth. If you encounter issues, visit Avid support page or forums, or you can leave a comment below this video. And that's it. You're all set to start editing with Avid Media Composer. In the next video, we'll cover the basics of the Avid interface, and how to navigate your first project. Make sure to subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss it. See you in the next video.